Smart factories are poised to change manufacturing, and we are here with Karthik Nahender, who is the HPE account manager at Infosys, and he's here to tell us about smart factories. Welcome. Thank you. So, what is a smart factory? So, very simply put, Clarence, it's about using technology um, to improve the quality, speed, efficiency, cost, um, or for a customer in processing and building products. And today in the demo that you're going to see shortly, we are trying to leverage uh, private 5G uh, to create some unique use cases for customers to do exactly that. Hey folks, I am uh, Vivek and I am from uh, HPE Global Solutions Engineering team. And today we are showcasing the HPE uh, uh, private 5G stack in a box. And this is our uh, flagship EL8000 server, which is a, a ruggedized model of the server. And this just uh, 5U in uh, rack unit sizes and uh, half depth, if you see. And it's a hardened server, which is uh, there for the rugged environment, which suits perfect for a manufacturing vertical industry. So this server right now is running the whole private 5G in one server. We've got four servers here, and the bottom is the redundant power supply available. And uh, you see, uh, this is perfect fit for a manufacturing vertical or a healthcare or in a defense uh, sector. So we'll be seeing an augmented reality uh, a demo of what's running over private 5G shortly. Hi, my name is Komo, and I'm part of HP Partners. I'm from Infosys. And today I'm going to show you Digital Twin. Over here, we can see a graph on the right-hand side, which shows the life of the engine. And on uh, the left-hand side, you can actually see the 3D model of the engine itself. So uh, we have incorporated Chatbot to this platform, and it, what it does is this application runs on the HoloLens device, and on the back-end side, it also runs on the HP server. Regardless of the flight time, uh, even if it's 30 minutes, we get 10 plus terabytes of data, and those are huge amount of data. And what we did was we used 5G technology where we are able to get the data uh, on a low latency and also from uh, multiple subscribers at a single time. And uh, we use those data on, um, on our AI platform and do the predictive analysis. And what we do is we can predict when actually the engine failure is going to happen. So as you can see on the graph, the engine is heading towards failure. I'm going to ask the chatbot for a year of analysis. One year. So we can see that the engine has headed towards failure. And there's a green dot on the jet engine, the digital twin of it. So we can ask the chatbot to get more information about the issue. What's the issue? So the chatbot is looking into the issue. As we can see here, we can get the exploded view of the turbine, and we can see the different sections of it, the fan section, the compressor, and other sections as well. Along with it, we can also see the ontology map and see all the data points that we have collected from the engine throughout this flight. We can ask the chatbot, like pinpoint what the exact issue is with the turbine, and then we can schedule a maintenance for it. So the overall experience of this application is uh, to enable engineers uh, to sit in like remote locations. They could be at their home or office, uh, and they don't have to be on site at the airport to uh, run diagnostics on the engine. What they can do is they can use similar headset and run the diagnostics and schedule maintenance. That's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching this demo.